In this video, I'm going to give you a full understanding of the difference between AC and DC current. And it started when I was when I was a kid. So one day I video recorded a science project. And when I was editing it, I realized that the light, I saw light flickering. And that was kind of an aha moment for me. Why the light had to flicker? Is there something wrong with the battery? When I created a lemon battery and then light up a bulb, I did not see any flickering. Okay, and then I realized that AC current flickers and DC current never flickers. And this is the fundamental to understand the difference between AC and DC. AC current flickers and DC current never flickers. And that's what you have you're going to be understanding today at the end of this lesson. Now, let's consider a DC circuit first. And you have an AC circuit voltage. This is the voltage. Now, electrons, 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 electrons move at only one direction. Electron moves only one direction. Electron moves from negative terminal to positive terminal, and on to the negative terminal. So electron moves from positive, to, uh, from negative to positive terminal, and current moves from positive to negative. This is one. DC current is always constant. Voltage and time, and this is DC current. DC current always constant. Now, the AC current, on the other hand, something going on, something very exciting, which I discovered as a kid by watching my own video that I recorded in slow motion to understand the behavior of a falling object, and I saw that. It was during the night and I saw that. I saw that light behind me flickering. The tube light behind me flickering. If you, now, why don't you pause the video and video, video record the light at your home right now in a slow motion. And you're gonna be discovering something. You're gonna be discovering fast time in your life and that is light flickers, why light flickers? That's what we're gonna understand. We're gonna invade the mind of Tesla, Nikola Tesla, and understand how he invented something called, what do we call, AC current. So electron moves backward and forward. What, what does that mean? Ele electron moves forward and electron moves backward. 100 times per second. 100 times, 120 times per second. 100, I was in India mode. In India, it is 100 times per second. In the United States, it is 120, 120 uh, times, times per second. That means, that means, that means the current stops. That means the current is zero in the tube bulb 120 times, 120 times per second. That's why you see flickering. That's why you see flickering. That, that means the filament, the filament in the light bulb slow down and is bright again slow down go to zero and bright again it 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 happens so fast that you don't see it now 120 times per second so this is how it happened 120 times per second go and back and forth back and forth now the physicists decided to instead of calling it 120 times per second they wanted to call it cycle what does the cycle mean this is one cycle why this is one cycle so it's more forward, same direction, okay? So this is, the, this is one cycle. One cycle means that how many cycle? How many cycle? If it is 100 times per second, then how many cycle? How many cycle in one second? So how many cycle in one second? This is it in, uh, in one cycle is backward and forward, okay? So two times, two times, okay? In one cycle it two times, forward and backward. Okay, so then how many uh, cycles? 120 times per second is how many cycles? Well, of course, 50 cycles. 50 cycles cycle per second. And 50 cycles per second is uh, is how many hours? Uh, well, 50, no, 60. 60 um, in India, in India is 50 cycles. In the United States, 60 cycles. 60 cycles per uh, second is 60 hours. Now we're gonna try to understand 60 hertz, hertz is how much voltage? 100 volt, 200 volt, 300 volt, okay? And this is like a sine curve. Have you ever seen a sine curve? Yeah. In this class, you, this is a sine curve. This is, this is y is equal to 
sine x, sine theta, you can call it theta or sine x. That means this is one cycle, okay? This is one cycle, this is one cycle, one complete cycle, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna first draw, or we, we're now gonna draw, we're gonna draw two sinusoidal uh, curve. One to represent 50 hertz, one to represent 60 hertz. Voltage is zero over here. So voltage go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Voltage is, we call it peak. Volt, voltage, volt, volt, peak. And voltage come back, come back, come back, and zero over here, and go back, go back, go back, peak again, and come back, come back, zero. So the voltage is never constant. Voltage is never constant. Unlike a DC circuit, the AC circuit voltage is never constant. Never constant. So which we call RMS, and we, 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 we're gonna cover that idea next video. Okay, now in this video, we're gonna try to understand how the hertz, okay, 60 hertz, 60 hertz is how much, how much, how much voltage, that's what we're gonna try to understand by using sine curve. Let's draw a sine curve. Okay, so at zero second, of course, the voltage is zero. At uh, five millisecond, the voltage is, let's say, 325. At 10 second, at 10 millisecond is zero. At 15 millisecond, uh, let's say three, negative 325. This is negative. And at 20 second is at uh, 20 millisecond it is it is it is zero. At 25 millisecond, it, let's draw it. This is the voltage. So voltage is never constant. Voltage is never. Yes. Okay. Now we gotta we gotta construct 60 hertz. Okay. So at zero second, of course, it is zero. This second it is right here. So we have just one cycle. So let's just stop for one cycle. So this is 60 hertz. Now how we're gonna understand it as voltage, okay? So how much voltage is this 60 hertz? 60 hertz means electron makes 60 cycle per second in an AC circuit. In another word, electron makes 120, electron oscillate 120 times per second, or current goes to zero 120 times per second. All right, so light, light dims 120 times per second. That's why we see flickering. Okay, let's try to understand 60 hertz is how much voltage. 60 hertz is not 156 voltage. This is called peak voltage. So the voltage, which is 100 voltage. So 110 voltage. Uh, this is called RMS. So 120, 110 voltage. 60 hertz, 110 voltage. So let's understand it. Let's summarize it. In the unit registers, in the unit registers, in the AC circuit that's used everywhere, at your home, everywhere, and the voltage is never constant and current is never constant, power is never constant, okay? Because the sinusoidal. So for example, here the voltage is zero, here the voltage is peak, here the voltage is zero, here the voltage is peak, here the voltage is zero again, okay? That's what is happening because the electron moves forward and backward, moves forward and backward. Unlike the DC circuit where electron moves only one direction, here electron moves backward and forward. Backward and forward, how often? Backward and forward, one uh, is 120 times per second or, one to, uh, or 60 cycle per second. That means the current goes to zero 120 times per second. That means the light dimming, the light dims 120 times per second. This is why we see flickering and this is how you use the sine curve to understand from harsh to, uh, to, um, to voltage.